Hello and welcome to this session of the node affinity. So in the previous session, we learned about uh, the node selector. Okay. And how can we restrict a pod to be get deployed in a particular node by assigning a node name? Okay. So this all is the hard way of uh, doing, putting the constraint. Okay. So in this particular uh, video, the node affinity. So you have, uh, you can say the hard preference also and the soft preference also. So in that case, the cube uh, scheduler, okay, will pick and uh, deploy it accordingly uh, as per the instructions we as, uh, provided through the YAML file. Okay. The definition file. So you can constrain a pod so that it can only run on a particular set of the nodes. So in this session, we are going to learn about the node affinities. Okay, so how can we assign a hard preference things and using the operators? Okay, so we will see the difference as well uh, for the affinity. Okay, so in this overview, we are going to learn how to create a pod using the node affinities. We will going to play again with the three percal nodes. We each have its own level and regarding the CK certifications, uh, you can expect a uh, one questions regarding uh, this or maybe not. But uh, you, this is also an important uh, topics regarding uh, if you are working in an organizations and you are doing the stuff related with the Kubernetes, then you should be familiar with uh, uh, the, the node affinity term and how to schedule a pod using the node affinities because the, the, it has some complexity and the complexity provide us a good features. So you can see in the sessions that how it is better than the node selector and assigning a node name into the Kubernetes schema files. So how it's uh, better and so very soon the node selector will going to be deprecated by the Kubernetes. Okay. So you can see that for the CK exam prospective, you can expect a 4% of it is of the questions. They will ask you a direct question on it. They will not mix with the another features of the Kubernetes. Okay, so this is just a recap for the node name and the node selector. So you can see that when we assign a node name, Okay, so node name is assigned. So this is a very hard preference. And in that case, the, it is a not good candidate that the cube API will send it to the cube scheduler because the cube API, when the request is received from the command line, okay, from the API or from the interface, the cube uh, API will just monitor the request, okay, all the requests. And if it you know, cube, if cube API uh, server will find it that the node name is already provided by the user, then it will not move uh, the data request to the cube scheduler. It will um, just save it and provide all the informations to the cube to get it deployed in the in the same node what has been asked. Okay. So this is just a recap. So I'm going very fast on this because if you didn't refer my previous video on the node name, the node selector, you can go through the, that particular video for more details. Okay, so you can see that in, I have three nodes. Okay, and this have the four GB and these two have the two GB. So I exceeded, okay, I assigned the node name, but I exceeded the memory limit. Okay, so in that case, it will go into the pending or out of memory, but it will not going to schedule uh, the pod into any of the worker node because we have the worker node available, which have the four GB, but it is the responsibility of the uh, of the queue scheduler to decide and the queue api in that case when you assign the node name it not passing all the things to the queue scheduler means nothing is passed to the queue scheduler because we already put a hard restriction here that i want this pod to get deploy in this particular node name if we have not memory then put it into the pending or in out of memory okay so this is the hard thing. So it will not get deployed. But as soon as um, I assigned, I remove this, then it will go to the scheduler. And again, it's get deployed into that particular worker node, which have the appropriate bandwidth. Again, this is the recap video when we discussed about the, how the new node selector. So as we assign a label for each of the node, here you can see that the two nodes have the same label. Okay, and node three have the different label, but we assign when we when we pro provide a disk is equal to SSD that it will go to the scheduler. 
okay cube api will send it to the scheduler because we are not um, putting hard restrictions here so, so the cube scheduler will decide on which particular node it will get deployed either in node 1 and node 2 okay but uh, what happen if i want uh, if we have the label like uh, suppose the low uh, size of the disk is low medium and high and i want only to get deployed not to get deployed in the low and it will pick the medium one the high one in that case we don't have the you can see the list types of things so we cannot handle these types of complexity requirement using the node selector so in that case the node affinity will come into the picture okay so this is the node affinity so node affinity is exactly if you say the concept the concept is exactly same how the node selector work the node affinity will also work in the similar way but it has some uh, uh, you can say the few good features where you can play with the operator the operator will be either not in in exist so any kind of operator if you want if you have suppose um, 100 nodes and each nodes have the different different you can say the labels like uh, you, you uh, just uh, split all the nodes uh, like 25 is the lower one okay you assign the label to that it is the of the lower size and the 25 percent is of the medium and 50 percent is uh, on the higher side and you want this pod to be get, get deployed not in the low which which not so you can assign not in okay and and the value will be uh, the size will be the low okay so it will remove all the nodes which have the level low and it will assign that port to any of the 75 percent of the nodes which have the 25 percent is of medium and uh, 50 percent is of the higher so this is the uh, beauty of the uh, you can say the node affinity and node affinity have two uh, you can say features like required um, uh, during uh, scheduling so this is the hard way we can say uh, like if you, it, if this condition is not met that in, ca in that case the cube settler will not able to deploy that particular pod into the node and we have some preferred also so we are going to uh, look into the next slide so you can see that i'm assigning two values like the pod to be get deployed this is the required you can say the hard difference and this is the preferred during execution so this is the you can say the uh, low preference or minimum minimum preference means in that case if it, it didn't match the size of don't know suppose you don't have the such type of level for a particular node which have the key as size and the value as don't know you can assign any value in that case uh, the scheduler will not able to find this particular labels for uh, that assigned to the any node then also it get going to the apply so it will not go in, into the pending in sta state or in the failed state that the cube scheduler is waiting uh, to get it deployed but it didn't match any uh, such criteria because this is uh, a soft preference you can say that it's a preferred okay you are preferring these uh, things like if you find it then you can deploy it if you not find it then uh, then also you can deploy it so it, in that case the cube scheduler will not find it such type of label assigned to any node and then also it will get, get deployed but this is the uh, you can say the hard preference that required so, that, so uh, it will it will find either the nodes have the label of low or the node should have the level of medium so this is the beauty of the node affinities okay so this is the hardware and this is the software so you you have to um, see the specifications of both the things like it have the match expression it also have where we are assigning key 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 is the name of the key that uh, we labeled uh, for use use the label for the node and here we are playing with the operators and operator value will be either uh, the in you can use the in or node anti affinities like not in exist or do not exist greater than and lower than okay so you can play with um, such type of operators and the, for the container i am using the simple container like nginx okay uh, and then and the container now name should be also engine x so to understand that this particular theoretical aspects in a better way uh, we are going to now jumping to the lab sessions to demonstrate all that things that we discussed just now in the slides okay so now i'm jumping to the lapses
okay so i am using digital oceans for this and uh, we have a kubernetes cluster which have three worker nodes and uh, you can see the all of have the same size but i labeled uh, this with the low uh, medium and high so there is a label assigned to each of the nodes that i am going to show you again this is the git pass where we have the file of preferred uh, preference and the required preference i am going to show you that xml file also and before that i am going to browse the node so you can see that i have three uh, nodes and each have the same size of 2 gb so you can see that i already assigned a label to save our time in demonstrations i am going to show you one of them uh, either the show labels but it will give you a mess screen you sit here get or describe describe node one of the node i am going to select i am going to paste it here i can use the show label also but uh, in this way you can find it very easily the size is low so if you uh, see any other other one let's uh, uh, take the higher one this have the should have the size of high copy this i'm going to write qctl and describe node and the name of the node Okay. so you can find this is have the size of high okay so now i am going to the visual studio code okay so this is the required preference first i am going to we are we are going to see this one okay so this is the same which we i show you in the slides where we have the in operator and required so this is the uh, hard preference you can say if uh, the, it uh, it goes to the cube scheduler and cube scheduler not find able to find we are a label with this key okay size with this value then it not going to apply it so i am using the in operator in that case the cube scheduler will look into the node which have the label of size and low so we have the worker node 1 which have this label and i am going to deploy this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, yaml file the specifications file for the required preference which have the nginx required um name this will this is the pod name okay so i uh, using the nginx image the container name will be nginx with the nginx image so i am going to deploy it so uh, let me go to the git pass okay so i am going to use the required one that we clear the screen okay ls and this this one is the file that i am going to use for this demo demonstrations okay. so kubectl apply minus f the name of the file is uh, required preferences okay kubectl get pod so we should have one running pod okay then nginx required one 6 second and about this gets deployed okay so kubectl get pod output you can use the output command or uh, shortcut as o of wide so you can see that it said uh, it picked because this is the only node which have this label size is equal to low okay so what happen if i assign uh, or give the instructions to deploy it either in the uh, low one or in the medium one so medium one is the worker node 2 okay in that case i have to um, change because the with the same name it not going to uh, create okay so in operator and i am going to use the uh, another uh, uh, value of medium okay so i am going to save it and this is the uh, nginx required one i am going to deploy it again okay i have this command in the history so i pick that one okay and again the other command in the history to get the output okay so you can see that it's it picked 
the scheduler will pick the second node to deploy it. So I put a instruction here, like you can deploy it this particular node either in the low or medium. The cube scheduler will find that both of the node have the same size, and already one node is get uh, pod is get deployed into the worker node one. So this time it deployed into the worker node two. But this is the functionality of the cube scheduler. Cube scheduler is very intelligent in picking the node uh, as per the size bandwidth and other bandwidth. So you can see that both of the pod get deployed and one in the worker node uh, 1 and other in the worker node 2. Okay, so now I am jumping to the other. Uh, this is the preferred preference, the soft preference you can say and here I am assigning the size of uh, load. So this is the uh, prefer soft preference. So uh, I am going to show you that uh, some labels which are not exist means this is the beauty of the preferred the soft um, preference that um, if there is not any label that match with this specifications then also it's going to deploy suppose in, in this example uh, for the required preference i can say uh, i'm going to modify it uh, to to two okay and i am assigning some other value like uh, let me modify it let me delete the uh, low and i say here i don't know or simple not know okay so i not know the size of this so this types of label not exist and this is the hard preference okay so let me deploy it let me save this file and let me deploy it again okay so i am showing, so showing you the the required preference uh, uh, of the node affinity side so in that case it will not able to find and you're not going to deploy it because this is the hard preference okay the cube settle of white so you can see that it's in the pending state if i run the command again again it will show in the pending state if you want what happened to this particular uh, pod then you can just see the description of it. Let me copy it. Let me clear the screen. Here's it here. Describe pod and the name of the pod. Okay, so the default scheduler which is um, using to monitor all the requests, 0 out of 3 nodes are available. Uh, three nodes didn't match the pod node affinity selectors. It means that when the request comes to the cube scheduler, cube scheduler look into the, uh, the specifications file and the as per the specification file, it not able to um, uh, match any of the criteria with the same as we have in the specifications with the low label assigned with the nodes didn't match so as the this is the hard preference so it not get deployed what happened if i use this uh, preferred preference file and again i am going to use the same things here what happened we will going to show you so you so in in that case uh, it, it will assign the pod will get deployed into any node because this is the soft preference you can see so i also assign i assign the same things the key is equal to size and not know the value with this label not exist in any nodes for any node but this is the preferred one so i am going to save it this is the preferred engine nginx preferred and i am going to use it for the deployment so let me clear the screen again ls and this is the preferred one i hope i saved the file let me verify it again Yes, this one is saved one. Okay. So I am using the command kubectl. Apply using the file, the preferred one. Okay. So this is the beauty of the preferred. When I assign or uh, suggested some value, some nodes, node label, which not exist, in that case, I think it will go into deploy it.
okay so this is the preferred one and you can see it's running although the the the, the label not exist but it's uh, get deployed but this is the hard way in which label not exist and it's not deployed into any worker it's in the pending state so guys i hope um, you the all the things regarding the no definity is clear to you guys and this is the very easiest topic you can make it complex by using the operator you can use the not in okay suppose you have the two labels uh, three labels and you want don't want this particular port to apply to, into a particular node then you can use the vice versa using the node in not in and use the value as uh, low then it will get deployed into the medium or the higher one okay so you can uh, manage the things accordingly okay so i hope this uh, lecture is um, benefited for you guys and gives me a thumbs up if you like my video subscribes to my channel if you didn't it yet and shared with it, it your friends as well and make a good, good, a good environment for the learning purpose and thanks for motivating me always okay uh, because uh, if you subscribe to my channel it will uh, um, uh, always motivate me to bring a uh, new things in front of you guys and um, i'm just uh, want to complete all the topics regarding the ck because uh, uh, several topics is missing uh, at this point like services ingress so all these things a sidecar container so you can see that i am making the videos and if you want to motivate me just give me a thumbs thumbs up and um, comment in case you have any any problem in which you want me to guide you okay so have a nice day and keep learning